Hi there guys and welcome back to The Beard Solution and another episode of The Beard Necessities and in today's episode I'm going to be talking about low level laser therapy and in particular the laser comb and whether it is any good for our beard growth. So let's take a look at that. Yo, I done six shows in a row, so my voice is hurting. Fans wanna hear what you're in person. Boy, oi. She want a man from Brom, but she sell with a boy from Burton. I still see feds on the block, still see the boy them lurking. He thinks I'm a poisonous person. Inside the boyfriend's burning. There's too many keyboard warriors. Low level laser therapy is a proven hair regrowth method uh, that is predominantly used on the scalp. But I want to find out whether it's any good for the beard. So I will be experimenting with the piece of kit that I bought very recently over the next few months to see if I get any benefit out of it. But let's look a little bit more at what low level laser therapy actually is. Essentially low level laser therapy utilizes lasers at low frequencies to promote hair regrowth on the scalp. Uh, now there are some reported cases of this increasing terminal hair count by about 19 hairs per centimeter over the course of six months. Now I've seen videos posted on the Minox Beard Spot um, from various sources on the web of people using scalp caps and people often exclaiming we need something like this for our beards but the question is do we? Now I had long since forgotten about this until I saw Aaron Oddball, a YouTuber and a self barber, uh, basically purchase a Lexington Hair Max laser comb uh, which is FDA approved and he's going to be using that on his beard. Now I couldn't afford that version so I've bought myself a cheaper version uh, which I'll be using at my own risk as this one isn't actually FDA approved it's only the Lexington Hair Max laser comb at the moment that is. Now the problem with relying on something that is predominantly used for scalp regrowth and studies that pertain to them is that usually their mechanism of action and what makes them so effective is their inhibition of DHT which obviously doesn't bode very well for our facial hair since it is caused by the same androgen. It is important however to remember that not everything that promotes regrowth on the scalp is a DHT inhibitor and therefore we can make some broad based assumptions that they may be beneficial for beard growth but without any documented evidence it's pretty hard to say for sure. Now one such product um, which falls into that category is minoxidil. Now minoxidil's primary mechanism of action is not fully understood however we do know that it's not a DHT inhibitor. Essentially what it's doing is vasodilation and opening potassium channels and it does have the odd side effect of hypertrichosis which is unwanted or uh, abnormal hair growth on other areas of the body uh, and one of those being the face. So I have proved this, several of the YouTubers have proved this as well, uh, that you can indeed grow facial hair using that particular drug uh, and as I said it's not marketed as and nor is it even proven to be a DHT inhibitor. Now low level laser therapy uh, is not shown to block or inhibit DHT nor is it marketed to do that. Uh, in fact it's very similar to minoxidil in its mechanism of action. It's not fully understood but what it does do is it lengthens the androgen phase which as I said before is the growth phase of hair and it shortens the telogen phase which is the stage where the hair is resting in the head waiting to be shed out by a new hair growing through. It's also a vasodilator and a potassium channel opener so many authors do draw similarities between the essential mechanisms of both products. Now here are a couple of additional reported benefits of using low level laser therapy like this laser comb here. Uh, the first of which being the expansion of your capillaries which leads to increased blood flow essentially and the other is an increase in andesine triphosphate uh, which increases the metabolic rate within cells and leads to um, protein synthesis and cell proliferation which is essentially the growth of, of new cells. Now from the scientific literature and the uh, scientific reviews that I've read there seems to be no suggestion that this actually blocks DHT in any way as I said before but we still should in general be quite skeptical of um, scalp studies and then looking at them in regards to beard growth. Uh, now that being said I did find a really interesting part in one of the reviews which was around paradoxical hypertrichosis which essentially is unwanted or unexpected hair growth um, through methods of using lasers to remove hair. So essentially they were trying to use lasers to remove hair and essentially cause the hair to get darker, thicker and more pigmented. Uh, in fact they found vellus follicles turning into terminal follicles. Now I will point out this was really uncommon. It happened uh, at an incidence rate between 0.6 and 10% of cases um, but they actually called this phenomenon terminalization. So the vellus hairs essentially um, 
falling out and being replaced with terminal hairs. And that's what I can assume from that, as we know a vellus hair itself can't actually become a terminal hair, but they found that when lasering the hair off, it would come back through um, thicker, darker, coarser, more pigmented, essentially like a terminal hair. Now, one of the suspected causes for this was uh, follicular angiogenesis, uh, which is essentially the creation of new blood vessels from old blood vessels, which would make sense if we look at something like uh, a terminal hair, which has more capillary structures around the dermal papilla than a vellus hair will. Uh, so it would make sense, but I will point out that, that was only a suggested cause they don't actually have any proof for that uh, there's many different suggested reasons as to why this could happen um, but all very interesting now before we get ahead of ourselves it is very important to know that this was uh, essentially from a scientific review uh, which is basically where they compare studies results with each other and draw conclusions based upon those different results so it can't be necessarily trusted 100 uh, percent and in that same vein there is one element of it where it suggests that uh, low level laser therapy modulates uh, testosterone's conversion into dihydrotestosterone like minoxidil does. Uh, however, we know that there is no evidence for that. In fact, they just kind of state it, then move on. Um, and the word modulate, for example, is very ambiguous. Uh, it can mean inhibit or it can mean activate. Uh, and so on that basis, we should be somewhat skeptical of all of the findings within that particular uh, review were better to go and look at the individual studies alone uh, and furthermore proof to why we know things like minoxidil and this do not block DHT to our knowledge is because they're not marketed as such and considering that is a huge factor in hair regrowth blocking something like DHT like finasteride or propecia does um, then obviously they'll be using that to market it um, but anyway guys uh, that's basically the information i've found on uh, low level laser therapy and i'll talk a little bit more about what i'm going to be doing with this now i am going to be using this uh, laser comb right here so let's get back to the practical element of it three times a week 10 minutes each time and i'm going to be doing that on sundays on tuesdays and on thursdays um, now what i will say is this is not proven to help with beard growth whatsoever uh, and i am essentially just going to be experimenting with it it can take six to nine months to see any results uh, so i don't suggest you guys go out there and buy one straight away just because i have bought one um, and if you really want to see whether it's working or not then perhaps keep watching my videos but probably more importantly go and watch Aaron's because if he sees any results he's not using minoxidil um, then that's probably a good sign that it does help on its own um, but I will be using this in combination with minoxidil and obviously documenting my results in my regular updates now I'll just quickly show you essentially some lasers now you have it on and it beeps and lets you know when you should move to the next part Okay, uh, and you do that for like 10 minutes. Um, so it's basically like a long ass version of derma rolling, but not painful. So uh, if you are looking to buy one of these, do so at your own risk. Um, as I said, we've not seen any results from it yet. I'm literally only just starting today. I don't even know if it's gonna work or not. Um, maybe hold out and see if anybody else sees any results from it. But guys, if you did like this video, then please do hit that like button. If you wanna keep up to date with videos uh, like these, then hit that subscribe button. And if you do have any comments, questions, queries, or suggestions, pop them in the comments box below. I've been Adam at The Beard Solution, and I will see you guys again next time.